Thanks for joining us. What's going on with the MBTA? It's sort of the perennial question around here. Let's dig a little deeper this morning with our guest, Brian Kane. He's executive director of the MBTA Advisory Board. That's an oversight group made up of leaders from all 176 cities and towns served by the T. He's also a veteran of eight years working for the T as an executive in various capacities. Brian, welcome. Thanks for having me, John. Good to have you here. We appreciate it. So the latest sort of jaw-dropping example of mismanagement um, out of the T was the news that multiple top MBTA officials were allowed to work from far-flung places like Chicago, Florida, even Hawaii. How did this happen, to the best of your knowledge? Well, I think it was a hangover from COVID pandemic policies that were never really pulled back in. And I, I think it's, we shouldn't cast aspersions on all remote work. Clearly, there are times and places where, where it can continue and should continue. But I think a place like the MBTA where things are clearly not working well, it really needs to be all hands on deck all the time in person, especially on construction projects and especially out in places like Springfield where they're making those new red and orange line cars that we know are not working properly. They should have folks out there, not in California. Well, Governor Healy has indicated that's over with. Good for her. Uh, Phil Eng, her hire as the new GM, is he relocating here? He is. Um, he is attempting to buy a home locally, I believe. Okay. And his daughter uh, is graduating from Northeastern, and she's going to be living here, too. Okay, so we will be seeing him around. Yes, that's sir. good to know. Um, listen, uh, is it time... I'm going to go right to the third rail here. Yes, sir. Uh, no, no pun intended. Is it time for the MBTA to do what successful systems like London do? Bring in private operators to run the subway and bus system the way we already do with commuter rail and the ferry service. No, um, that wouldn't work here in Boston. Why the, not? The systems are too too long legacy systems. You could not bring private operators in to run the red, orange, blue, and green lines successfully. Uh, privatization has been shown to be unsuccessful in many play cases, including in London, where recently a lot of it has been taken back by the UK government. Um, so it's a, it's a thing that's been tried and tried again many times here in Massachusetts during the Fiscal and Management Control Board times. We had attempted privatization of bus garages, didn't work. And we have the Pachico law in place now, which would make that almost impossible to do, even if we wanted to. Does it not work for ferry service, for commuter rail? It works for Keolis because that is a very specific federally mandated issue. Um, Keolis is doing a great job, but with significant financial prop-ups now from the MBTA. Yeah. I'm not sure I understand why it wouldn't work here. Um, it's not as if public sector management has been a smash hit. I guess it depends on what we mean by work. It certainly wouldn't save any money. It might provide a better customer service. It's unclear, though. Hmm. Uh, one last thing before we take a quick break here. The, um, uh, the uh, key House uh, chairman of transportation, uh, Bill Strauss, for years, really, mm -hmm. has been calling for the MBTA to be broken up. Yes. Um, do you think that's a good idea, do you and your members, and what are the chances of that happening? Well, we look forward to having a discussion about this. Uh, actually, there'll be a hearing on May 8th in the State House. Uh, the advisory board itself hasn't taken a position yet. I think it's fair to say, though, that we saw amalgamation in 2009 where the Department of Transportation was created. Right. At the time, we were promised hundreds of millions of dollars of savings every year in efficiencies and better service for customers across the board. We clearly haven't seen that. So I don't think that we can say the consolidation process worked well, and I'm just not sure that doubling down on what is probably a bad idea is going to work.